All right, guys, got a rimfire caliber comparison here. Uh, we got these cantaloupes. I'm going to shoot the first one with 22 long rifle, second one, 22 magnum, third one, uh, 17 HMR. That one looks a little small, so I'm going to hit that one with the uh, 22 long rifle. All right, so here's the ammunition we'll be using today. Uh, when I did the watermelon test, I used a Gila Super Maximum hollow points. I meant to bring stingers. I had a couple people request those, plus those are probably the most popular out of those uh, hyper-velocity offerings there. Uh, but pretty upset with myself. I forgot uh, both of those. Um, but I did happen to have these, and I know the box shows that this is a round nose, but I do in fact have hollow point versions of these in here. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, the reason I'm not showing the hollow points is because these those were in fact the round nose, but I uh, fabricated my own hollow point. <laughs> so uh, I can't show that on YouTube where I could get a strike for that. Um, so I may get more criticism for admitting that, uh, but I always want to be honest with you guys. So that's why I didn't show it. I had to fabricate my uh, own hollow point out of this and uh, whittle it down to make a hollow cavity in it. The reason I did this, as I said, I forgot to, uh, to bring the ammunition I actually intended to bring. Uh, but also, I don't shoot in my backyard, guys, so I actually have to drive quite a distance and pack a bunch of stuff up uh, to make these videos. So I couldn't afford to not get anything uh, out of this day. So that's why I had a, really no choice to compromise there and fabricate my own because I travel to shoot here and I just can't afford to call the entire day quits and not get production out of this trip. So uh, those are the reasons I did what I did. So super extra hollow point for the 22 Magnum. Uh, yeah, you can get like the 30 grain V Max that are going to go faster and be more explosive, but traditionally a 22 Magnum is a 40 grain uh, projectile. They even have up to 50 grain. Okay, so 40 grain is uh, your standard load there. So that's why I went with 40 grain here. And these are a lead soft point hollow point. Pull one out here and give you a look at that. There's a close-up of those, so it's a soft point. It's just lead there at the tip, and it's a hollow point, so shouldn't have any issue with expansion from those. And then for the 17 HMR, I'm going to use these 17 grain polymer ballistic tip, which is your standard stuff for a 17 HMR there. Right there's a pile from the centerfire pistols we just did. I'll put a link in the description if you want to catch that if you missed it. So first up, 22 long rifle. By the way guys, I am wearing safety glasses just in case I hit that concrete. And just one last notation guys, uh, you can see the GoPro sitting there on the brick off to the left of the cantaloupe on the ground there. Um, like my previous videos like these, um, I've had the GoPro behind it for footage from the backside and also to get up close uh, slow motion footage. Uh, somehow I bumped something on the GoPro or whatever and it was set to the wrong setting to where it was just taking an image every half a second instead of actually recording. Uh, so unfortunately I don't have that footage due to that. Uh, but I did manage to get uh, two captures uh, from the still frames there from it taking a picture every half a second of the 22 long rifle exiting the back and then the 22 Magnum exiting the back. However, I did not capture the 17 HMR. All right. There's our entrance there, and in case this was entrance with FMJ, in case you doubt me there that those were hollow points. And there's our exit. All right, 22 Magnum. Well, that was a lot more entertaining. Blew the whole face off of it there. A 
wow a little exit that surprised me so basically it just exploded immediately and then there wasn't much left to come out the back it may have even uh fragmented in there i'm not sure all right uh, 17 hmr Honestly surprised that the 17 didn't do more. So those are pretty good magnum rounds for the 22 WMR. Um, at least on soft targets. Looks like about the same result. Generally 17 HMR is more explosive. What? <laughs> no way. It didn't even exit. It just completely disintegrated. All right, well... I definitely didn't expect that either. Uh, and by the way, these are pretty green. I intentionally picked the greener ones so they'd be stronger. So they, they're they not very ripe. So they wouldn't completely explode. So that definitely worked. I just can't believe there's no exit on that. I'm going to open this up here and see if, if I can find little fragments in there. Real quick before I do that though. 22, 22 Magnum, 17 HMR. All right, it's kind of hard to see because they're so minute, but there's just basically itty bitty pieces of lead. That's the biggest piece I could find everywhere. So yeah, it just completely disintegrated. Whereas the 22 Magnum, I'm sure there's some shards in there, but it still had a slug left to exit out the back. All right, well, that does it. So uh, if you guys want to catch the uh, pistol version of that where I used uh, I did use one rimfire 22 long rifle and then the rest uh, center fire again I'll, I'll link that in the description I'm gonna do more of these coming up with these three uh, rimfire cartridges here uh, with different targets so we'll have some more of this coming up with some different things to shoot at links in the description for some of the products I use in the videos like my target holder there the targets earmuffs uh, way more than that links are in the description if you want to get anything you see me use in any of the videos but hey, thanks for watching guys and make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications for returning viewers. Appreciate you as always. I hope to see you all on the next one.